Hey everybody, welcome back to the Everyday Journey. Today we're going to do a quick review. Uh, this right here is a WH-C series uh, mini crane scale. Uh, I got this because I had a project I wanted to do with it and, uh, and it was cheap enough so I figured why not. Uh, this thing is supposed to be rated for, uh, for up to 1100 pounds. So uh, let me go ahead and open this up and give you guys an idea of what's in it and uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so specifically this is the WHC500 um, which is, like I said, the, the one that actually has a capacity of 1100 pounds. Um, I got this through Amazon. It was one of their, uh, I guess, returned items or something. They deemed it to still be good, so I bought it at a slightly discounted price. It didn't come with the batteries. It has a space for the batteries, so I'm not really sure if that was just part of the return thing. Um, but I've put some batteries in there, no big deal. Uh, it comes with the actual scale. So let me get this out of here. There we go. Comes with the actual scale, and it comes with the S hook and a kind of like D ring type hook. Um, this one you'll actually clip at the top, hook it to whatever you're hanging it from, and the S hook you put at the bottom and go ahead and hang whatever it is you want to weigh on it. So um, really, that's all it comes with. It comes with some really awesome instructions. Um, good luck reading those. They, I mean, you can get the idea of what you're, uh, what you, what you, how to use this thing, um, but they're not very good. I'll just say that it's hard to read it. That's for sure. Okay, so this thing's pretty simple to use. Just turn it on right here. It'll come up. It'll uh, zero itself out. Uh, if you need to change it from pounds to kilograms, you can. You just hold down the mode button until it switches over to kilograms. And uh, we're actually going to use pounds. It's got the backlight there so you can see. Um, the one bad thing about this thing is it's not waterproof. Uh, if you uh, if you want to use it outdoors, your best bet is to, uh, to make sure that it's well covered. I guess really, since I don't have anything to give a specific measurement and know for sure that this thing is measuring accurately, uh, what we're going to do is do a comparison. Uh, I'm going to compare the weight of this versus a weight on a scale and see how they, how they compare. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So for the test, I'm actually going to use this stool here. Um, if you guys want to find out how to make a stool just like this, uh, this thing's great. It's really sturdy. I use it as a step stool all the time. Um, go ahead and look at the uh, the top up here and go ahead and click on that, preferably after this video, and, uh, and you can see how I made this. But I'm going to go ahead and use this, put it, put this eye up in the uh, in the ceiling up here, and uh, and then we're going to go ahead and hang things from it so we can get the see how they how everything works out. All right, so now we get the rope up here, and. seems strong enough. So let's go ahead and do a couple of tests. Alright, so here's my digital scale. I'll go ahead and let that zero out. Start off with, I'll go ahead and weigh myself. And here it says I weigh 203.8 pounds. Just to make sure, we're going to go ahead and let that uh, clear back out. We'll let it zero again. Try it again. Make sure that this is reading accurately. Same thing, 203.8 pounds. Uh, so we're going to go off of that. Let's see what the scale says. So we've got our scale hooked up here. We're just going to use the rope, the other end of my rope actually, and just have two loops here. And what I'm going to do is just stand in the bottom loop, and we'll hang the other one right here. So we'll go ahead and turn it on, let it zero itself out. Should be good. And now I've got to stand in the loop. So it's telling me right now. 
stable at 205 and it's fluctuating 205.2 so there's already a difference there let's see if it goes back to zero and it does so let's go ahead and do another one and 205.2 so one of the two is off so let's try and do a little bit different measurement now let's go ahead and weigh something between them and uh, and then see if that's any different so we're going to go ahead and go back to the scale here get this thing to come on let it zero itself out and we're going to go ahead and measure the weight you won't be able to see this but this is the Harbor Freight toolkit and it says it's 46.4 pounds so now let's weigh it on the other one so let's go ahead and turn this one on let it zero itself out and let's see what this weighs forty seven point three pounds so again we've got a difference let's see what it does when we weigh it again let's see if it goes back to zero and it does and forty seven point six pounds so they're close um, I wouldn't trust given that this thing wasn't that expensive I wouldn't trust that the uh, the measurements would be perfect um, it's just a reference but it seems to be a fairly close reference so uh, I don't think I got really any problems with that um, what I will want to know though is whether or not it can get anywhere close to the maximum weight it's going to be kind of hard for me to do but I'll try my best so anyway Let's go ahead and take this outside and see if we can't get any anything different with it and see what goes on with that.
there we go. The highest I was able to get on there was 672.1. Um, that wheelbarrow just wouldn't hold anymore, and it was not easy for me to get on top of it there. And it, it wasn't, since I was swinging all around and everything else, it wasn't able to actually keep an accurate reading because everything was just fluctuating too much. Um, but as you can see, whenever I weighed the tool set, um, that worked great. Um, whenever I was swinging on it, it was a little harder, but it was, it was, it was giving me a good reading there too. Um, so basically it just needs to be stable. Um, I think overall it's a good purchase and uh, it should definitely work for, uh, for what I need to do with it, um, which is nothing, nothing like that. I was just trying to see if I could get anywhere close to the maximum on this thing. Uh, the only thing I could think of better than that would be maybe just to hook it to the hitch on my truck and, and actually pull it or something, but I'm not going to go through that. Uh, for the most part, I think this is probably should be working well within its ratings, and uh, I should never be lifting anything that heavy anyway. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, and uh, if you got any questions, send them my way, and uh, I'll try my best to answer them. If you got any ideas of what I can do with this thing, we, uh, I can definitely uh, try my best to, to do things like that. Um, I've done it before. You guys have a, something you want me to do and I've got it around. I can try to do it myself that way and uh, let you guys come along for the ride. I definitely appreciate you guys watching. Until next time, y'all take care.